Hello, Joe from Joe K Models here. As you can see, I've got the plain all painted up here and the bare metal silver. Uh, I just did a, um, a black primer. And then the uh, Tamiya AS12 bare metal silver over that. And i um, pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, looks pretty good. All the work that I did to the, uh, to the fuselage and everything, um, I think is quite satisfactory. So we've got all that taken care of. So the next step is going to be to start the, I guess you would call it the, the pre-weathering process. Um, so I started doing a little bit of experimenting here with this um, paint mule here and as you can see it's got that bare metal silver under it and then I painted the top color and instead of using a decal I also made a mask and I painted the, uh, the, Jap the Japanese roundel on there and I was just kind of playing around just seeing how things chipped and everything and um, you know obviously I don't want it to be this weathered but um, I did want to to practice on this just to kind of see what I might be looking at here and I have a couple brushes and I just kind of cut the ends off of a lot of these and I think these will work out pretty good as far as um, doing some of the weathering uh, because of the scale like this this plane here is a 148 scale and this one's a 170 second so because of the scale I'm going to be one I'm gonna, going to want to be very careful about how big these chips are. So I think I'm going to be using um, a toothpick quite a bit um, and maybe with the brush you know hitting the front of the of the uh, the wing here with that just to get some little specks of silver just to, sh to shine through so um, you know I'm, I'm glad that I did this experiment here with uh, with this airplane because it does show me that um, you know, you, it is possible to go overboard, but also that the effect is quite possible, and I'm, you know, happy with how it, you know, it looks. Like, I can see what's going on here with this to a lesser extent. So, I think we're ready to move forward. Also, with the hairspray, I know, like, I pretty much bombed it on, um, this this airplane here. So, I'm going to try and mist, mist coat it more, maybe two to three very light mist coats, so that... It's going to make it a little bit less um, likely that big chunks are going to come off there. So that's where we're at with the, uh, with the Japanese Zero, and I'm excited to continue on. I'm happy with how it's going so far, and I'll catch you on the next vlog. This is Joe from Joe K Models.